there are a lot of respected people in um, the Christian faith who are credible um, and from what I can tell, honorable. They speak on this. Uh, they speak on, uh, I th- believe it's called cessationism. Yeah. Right. Um, I've been to a lot of churches. My father was a pastor. I've never personally witnessed a measurable, observable miracle. Mm -hmm. I believe in them. Mm -hmm. I've just never seen them at any of the places that I've been to. Mm -hmm. All of the miracles that I've seen kind of require you, no offense to anyone, but they kind of require you to like turn your brain off and just believe whatever they're telling you is happening. Why is it that we don't see that? We Mm -hmm. believe in the power of God, Mm -hmm. but we don't really see the miracles happen. Yeah, it's a good question. It depends on where you go. Because if you look at someone like Craig Keener, who's a brilliant research scholar at Asbury University, I'm sorry, Asbury Seminary in Kentucky. He, uh, about 10 years ago, wrote a hernia-inducing two-volume set called Miracles, where he went and got evidence, documented evidence for modern-day miracles. And it's 1,100 pages, both of them. He's recently, last year, wrote a smaller book with the same kind of information in it. And Lee Strobel wrote a book called The Case for Miracles. Okay. But your question, and as I said earlier, by the way, if no miracles have occurred since the first century, Christianity is still true. Right. Right. Okay. But your question has to do with sensationism, which is the idea that the sign gifts were just for the apostles. Right. They're no longer applicable to us today. Now, to a certain extent, I agree with that, but I still think miracles can occur. I think the fact of miracles can occur, but I don't think people have the gift of miracles like they had in the first century. Because if you had the ability to heal anyone, like say the Apostle Paul did, you would not be building hospitals, you'd be emptying them. Right. And I know some charismatic people who have gone on TV asking for money to build a hospital while at the same time claiming they had the ability to heal. Right. 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 So- It seems a a disconnect. As you mentioned, you have to check your brain at the door. Right. But can God do a miracle through someone when he wants to? Of course he can. But that's in the that's that's in the hand of God. That's not I don't think anybody today has that power. There are no apostles today that have to be confirmed as apostles because they have new revelation. Yeah. So if God wants to do a miracle through somebody, they can. But for me to claim I have the gift of healing, I would never do that. And I don't think anybody has the gift of healing. God may work through them on occasion, but that's under God's power, not their own. Now, one reason for this might be is that here in the West, we generally don't believe in miracles. We're almost like materialists. But if you go to some places in Africa or South America and you really go there and observe, you'll have missionaries say, oh, I see this stuff all the time. Yeah. Because the gospel needs to go out and God is allowing these people to get the gospel to them, like speaking in tongues, like foreign tongues or healing people. That stuff happens out on the mission field. Doesn't happen here in America as often if it does. Yeah. But just because we haven't seen it, does that mean it hasn't happened? No. No. And just because some people may fake it, does that mean there aren't genuine people out there through whom God has done miracles? Not at all. No. So you got to look at the evidence on a case by case basis. 